Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Carabeo with your morning digital news brief for Sunday, September 13th. Flames ripped through a barn in West Philadelphia overnight. That fire broke out at North 53rd Street and Westminster Avenue. A neighbor tells us the barn is home to chickens, goats, and horses. Ellen Dye and the PSPCA were both called to that scene. So far, there's no word on any injuries or what sparked the flames. A woman is killed in a motorcycle crash in Philadelphia's West Oak Lane neighborhood. Police say the woman was driving that motorcycle just before 7 o'clock last night at Stenton Avenue and Haines Street. A black SUV turning into the parking lot, we're told, hit that bike and killed the woman who was riding on it. No word if the other driver is facing any charges. And today's the day Eagles fans have been waiting for. The birds kick off the 2020 season against the Washington football team later today at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. The birds are on the road for their first game. Of course, the COVID-19 pandemic has prompted officials to ban fans from attending the games. Next week's home opener at Lincoln Financial Field has cutouts of fans ready to go. Now to the eyewitness for the forecast. Here's meteorologist Matt Peterson. Hey, Matt. Hey there, Jan. Going to be a good one for us today. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds through the afternoon. The biggest thing that I think a lot of us will notice is a slight uptick in the humidity as we head through the afternoon and slightly warmer temperatures as well. An overnight front will kind of fizzle as it works through the Delaware Valley. A couple of stray showers and isolated sprinkle, though, not ruled out. And then some of that could linger into Monday morning. Overall, looks like it's going to be terrific for our Tuesday. And we are keeping an eye on the tropics because we have multiple systems out there. The first is Tropical Storm Sally, which will likely strengthen to a hurricane through the day today and then make landfall along the Gulf Coast of Louisiana early in the week. Also still watching Hurricane Paulette and Tropical Depression Renee. Paulette could affect the island of Bermuda as early as tomorrow. Tropical Depression 20 is just off of the African coast, as well as another wave that has a 70% chance for tropical development in the next five days. Tropical Depression 20 will most likely become Tropical Storm Teddy by tomorrow afternoon. For Philly today, though, 80 degrees for our high temperature, warmer and slightly sticky out there with a mix of sun and clouds. Overnight tonight, into our Monday morning. Temperatures staying relatively mild, especially for my 95 and south, with some mid to upper 60s, even some 70s. So overall, our Sunday is looking pretty nice. There come those stray sprinkles as we head through the overnight, again, as that front crosses. And then through our Monday afternoon, we'll look for decreasing cloud cover and again, drier conditions taking over. So while our comfort index today is a little bit muggy, it gets a little more pleasant for Monday and then absolutely gorgeous for Tuesday. 79 tomorrow after the 80 today, looking great through Tuesday and Wednesday with plenty of sunshine. And some low to mid 70s there. And then our next best chance for a couple of showers, Jan, comes at the end of the week. All right, Matt. Thanks so much. And remember, you can always get the latest news and weather headlines right here on CBSPhilly.com. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.